Welcome back. It's time now for our community update. And joining us today for his first community update is Green Bay's new police chief, Chris Davis. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, let's first talk a little bit about you and why you're a good fit for Green Bay. Well, I hope I'm a good fit for Green <laughs> Bay. Uh, I spent, I've been a police officer for a little over 27 years. I started my career in Arizona and then the last 23 years in Portland, Oregon. Our family has ties to this part of the country. My wife is from Kakana, and so we still have relatives here. And then I actually grew up in the Midwest in Columbus, Ohio. So we're not new to the area, mm -hmm. but it, you know, it's been a long time, but it's kind of like coming home for us. Nice. And how would you describe your vision for the department going forward? Well, what I would like to see for the Green Bay Police Department and for our profession in general is an organization that works with, with the community to solve the complex public safety problems that we face. Uh, I, I would like us to be an organization that is trusted and that is respected and that sets an example for the rest of our profession and a, and a place that's a great place to work and, and where people just enjoy coming to work every day. So you've been on the job for about three weeks now. How's it been going? Uh, it's been good. I, the, the analogy I like to use is it's like merging onto a very busy freeway. So there's, <laughs> there's a lot to learn, and uh, I have certainly, you know, I go to bed very tired every night. Uh, but it's been a great change. And, you know, Green Bay, as I get to know it better and, and, the, and the department better, it's just a great place. And I, I continually have my decision to apply for this job validated. So I just appreciate the welcome. So what are some of the top crimes that are top priorities in Green Bay right now? Well, and I would, I would expand it just a little bit to public safety issues. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest public safety issues that we're facing are a really uh, alarming increase in gun violence over the last couple of years. There is still a thriving trade in property crime, and so we, we deal a lot with that. And then traffic safety. I hear a lot in the community about people's concerns with people driving too fast, not stopping for, for red lights and stop signs and those kind of things. So let's talk about the homicide investigation of Jason Mendez Ramos, whose body was found near the Arboretum Trail at UWGB. What do police know so far? Well, we are still actively working on this investigation. There is a lot of information to get through, and obviously we can't share all of it. What I will tell you is that we are still looking for the community's help. Anybody who saw him before this event happened or, or knows anything about this case or knows the whereabouts of his car, this red Ford Fusion that we're still looking for, we would really appreciate any tips we can get from the public. We would follow up on every one of those, and, and we continue to spend a lot of time with a lot of our detectives working on this case. Now, do you have any suspects right now, and what are some of the next steps? Well, at this point, we're, we're still just keeping an open mind, and we're still trying to sort through all of the information and tips that we're receiving. And the next steps are just to keep following up on every one of those leads. You know, it's like solving a puzzle, and we're looking for that one piece that completes the picture and will allow us to make the case. Now, you touched on the gun violence is on the rise in Green Bay. Mm -hmm. What types are you seeing, and what is the department doing to combat that? We're seeing a lot of gun violence that is tied to social networks that people are part of. And, you know, often what we'll see is an argument that'll start on a social media platform and then sparks a violent encounter between two people and then retaliatory violence after that and like the, a cycle mm -hmm. of violence. And so our goal is to interrupt that cycle. And so what's the department doing to interrupt that cycle? So we are in the process of developing a comprehensive gun violence reduction strategy. And the first step is for us to work with some outside consultants to do a deep dive into exactly what the drivers are of gun violence in Green Bay and the particular dynamics. We know in this community, which you don't see everywhere, that our folks involved in gun violence are also involved in violent crimes in other communities in the Fox River Valley and in other cities. And so making those connections with those other agencies and then uh, in, in just working the, the cases when they happen, mm -hmm. collecting every shell casing that we find in the city. We recently obtained a piece of equipment from ATF that allows us to get very rapid um, forensic testing done on 
guns and shell casings left at scenes and will allow us to make connections between cases. And, you know, if I can make a case on someone who just fires shots in the neighborhood and doesn't hit anyone, then that might prevent the case where they do hit someone. And so we're doing a lot of that. And it's also important going forward to involve the community in the development of our, especially our patrol-based gun violence interdiction strategies to make sure that we aren't creating some of the collateral damage to community trust that has been created in the past with problems like this. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Chief Davis. We appreciate it. Sure. Happy to be here. All right. Your Green Bay forecast today looks awfully cloudy out there. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple morning sprinkles. Upper 60s for highs, and I'm timing out those showers when we come back.